Hey everyone, hopefully you're having a good day. My name's Andy, my channel is Finding Value. And if you guys are looking for undervalued investment opportunities, definitely click subscribe. I want to give a shout out to somebody, uh, a shout out to Terry Papineau. He's a uranium consultant who loves uranium, loves talking about it, reading about it, uh, has a lot of opinions about it. And I actually consulted with him uh, before, when my channel first uh, was established and asked him a whole bunch about uranium. And if you guys want to add a uh, WhatsApp group name is like uranium, like uranium. Uh, so it's U-R-A-N-Y-U-M. You can definitely uh, hit them up uh, and ask questions and, and join the group uh, to talk about uranium. So today I'm going to do technical analysis. Uh, it's about obviously uranium uh, and see if we have any developments, you know, changing on the front. Uh, I expect this to take some time, but you never know. Sometimes they bounce off their resistance lines and, and head higher, uh, but we'll see. So I'll show you what I've got. <clears throat> so here's URNM. Uh, it looks to me that we've broken out to the downside of this ascending wedge. Uh, I would give it time. <clears throat> I'm not trying to jump in here uh, and 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 jump in front of this momentum. I still think there's momentum to the downside. It may take weeks or maybe even a month for this to, to iron itself out. We'll continue to moderate and see what happens. Here's Camco Corporation. It's flirting with its lower uh, channel trend line. If it breaks to the downside, it, we, may we may see some, some downward movement. Um, you know, I'm looking at this pattern here. Uh, usually it takes a little bit of time for it to work its way out with this much momentum. So I'm I'm not really doing much. I'm just watching. Same with next gen energy. Again, we still have the, the support line here, and I'm watching to see if this thing holds. Not that I'm doing anything. Uh fission uranium, another one, it's right at the trend line. It's, it's just holding. Energy fuels. Uh you can put a trend line through here. Uh, but it did break to the upside. We do have downward momentum, though. Uh, it's starting to contract a little bit. But again, I'm usually too early to enter, so I try to be a little bit more patient and see what the, the entire sector is going to do. And UEC, we've got some bearish engulfing, bearish engulfing, bearish engulfing. I think this is probably, it could roll over. Um, if I look at it, you can also see that we could see a wedge pattern here, too where it could break to the upside. So this one is, and if you guys want to envision the, the wedge pattern that I'm seeing, let me, let me draw it in real quick for you. So it's a very short, wet, uh, small wedge pattern here. And this is what I'm seeing for the pattern. <clears throat> there it is right there. There's the wedge pattern that I'm talking about on the side there. Here's Uranium Royalty Corporation. You could, if this is a head, shoulder, head, you draw the neckline in and the projected moves about two bucks. Is it going to get down that low? There, I mean, there's a lot of support in here. Uh, it's It's got a little bit of a wick on the bottom, which means the momentum could be coming up, but it could, it could hit somewhere around this $2 level. Uh, which would make sense. And hopefully it's not a, a larger shoulder head, shoulder developing. Here's Encore Energy. It looks like it broke its uptrend. Uh, we had a bearish engulfing here, so I'd wait. Let's just wait and see where this thing goes. Deep yellow, everything still looks game on. I just drew this in for a support line in case it were to come on back. That would be a good support level. Global Atomic, we're still getting the down days. We've got little wicks on the bottom, so usually that means momentum's ending up throughout the day, but it doesn't mean that the downtrend and momentum's done yet. GoVX is right at its support line. It could very well break down to the downside uh, if we have more selling pressure in the overall market. Bannerman, I didn't really draw this one in, but it looks like it was basically flat. Didn't look too bad. Denison Mines, um, this one doesn't look too bad. We've got the nice big up day and two small down days, but with the with the remaining sector coming under pressure, you know, I don't know if I'd just be diving into these things. 
uh, for, for adding positions in uh, on top of what I already have. And here's pure point uranium. It's at its support line through here. Just touching it. Can Alaska looks like it broke to the downside. Maybe has some room to run, run a little bit further down. Standard uranium is breaking to the downside. So we're seeing it across the entire sector. Uh, base load still holding strong. Go base load. And then Sky Harbor, it's playing with its resistance line. Potentially could break down just like the rest of the sector. And then we've got Fentress Energy, which is kind of bucking the trend. Uh, I don't know if I jump into this just because the whole sector's coming under pressure. Uh, and then Fission's looking pretty good. It's holding its ground if it's if it stayed up today. Form Energy Metals. Form Energy Metals, again, we're, we're right there. Got a little wick on the bottom. It's been pretty strong up here. It's, it's been holding out. And then Force This Metals, looks like we're putting in a bullish engulfing. So this could go higher. But again, the overall sector is looking pretty weak. So I don't know how how long this will be coming on up. So overall, uh, I would say that the entire sector uh, doesn't look too strong. I think we're going to continue the pullback. We'll see. We'll have to wait and see. Give it, give it a, give it a couple days. Give it a week. Let's see if we get some bullish engulfings like Forces Metals is putting in right there. That's behind me. Uh, those are usually indications that it wants to go higher, but I don't see that across the board across the sector. I see it on this one. And then there's only one other one that really broke to the upside, which was Centris. Most everything else is playing with its uptrend lines, ready to break to the downside. And I don't, that's not the time to be wanting to jump in uh, and add to your positions. At least that, that's for me. I don't want to jump in and add to the positions. I can't give you guys any advice. Um, this is just financial education, what I would do. Uh, I'm not adding anything in at the moment. I'm going to wait and see uh, what things look like next week. If things start selling off, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to just hold on. If things start look like they're turning around, you're getting bullish engulfings or hammer patterns, which we've seen uh, some of in some of them, uh, then I would be more inclined to add more money in. But right now, I'm just kind of holding on. If you guys like this content, give me a thumbs up. If you guys have any questions about anything, please leave it in the comment section. And thank you for listening. This is Finding Value.